Well, the search for a missing three-year-old has turned into a homicide investigation after the body of a young boy was found at an Oakwood waste plant. It's a story that you've watched unfold on News Channel 5 and NewsNet5.com. Today, an autopsy is set to be performed to determine if that child's body is Emiliano Terry. He was first reported missing on Sunday, setting off a massive search. But that search was suspended after the body was found. News Channel 5's Kristen Byrne is live outside his home in Cleveland this morning. And Kristen, you've been following this all along. What's going on overnight? Macy, there are a couple of uh, patrol officers out here at Buckeye Road and East 130th. One is on the side of the building, another one guarding an alleyway. Police are working to obtain a search warrant of Camelia Terry's home where she lived with her children. Uh, we're learning that that is expected to happen at some point today. But officials are working on that. Now, the break in the case came yesterday at about 2 p.m. Uh, FBI agents spotted a waste management truck in the area of East 130th Street and Buckeye Road, right where we are live today. They contacted waste management to have them set aside the trash, which was taken from a dumpster. That's video here of police guarding this dumpster on East 130th. Once officials sifted through the trash at the Oakwood Waste Plant, they found a young boy's body wrapped in several plastic bags, we're told from police. It was either four or five plastic bags. We know an autopsy will be performed today to determine um, how long that body has been dead for and how that young boy died. Macy. Kristen, a lot has happened since last night. Could you explain to us why the mother is in custody this morning? She hasn't necessarily admitted to anything, has she? No, she hasn't admitted to any crime, but police say that yesterday her story became inconsistent when they were questioning her. Uh, so that is why she is in custody. They say uh, she's the only one they're seeking charges against, and prosecutors are going to meet uh, to determine that. But remember, yesterday, uh, police uh, yesterday morning told me uh, that they did not have any evidence to suggest that a family member was involved. But Macy, it appears that that is changing now. Ongoing investigation, Kristen. Thank you for keeping us up to date on it this morning. Morning. And we invite you to stay with News Channel 5 for continuing coverage of the Miliano Terry case. We will have live re reports throughout Good Morning Cleveland, plus instant updates on NewsNet5.com throughout the day.